Hello my friends, my name is Mohammed Naveed and in this lecture I am going to teach you edit menu in Adobe Illustrator. So what is the work of edit menu definitely we will see now. In order to use edit menu what I do first I will come in menu and then I will click on edit as you can see that now we have all the options of edit menu. The first is undo. So what basically undo and redo is. Let's suppose if I create an object and let's suppose if I color it this is a second step okay so what I did first first I created an object and then I color it so definitely here are two steps let's suppose if I want to go back so how can I go or go back definitely with the help of edit menu here we have uh, you can see undo so what I do I will click on uh, undo or I can also say control Z it will go back getting me and if I want to come back to my original so what I do I will click on redo undo will go back and redo will come again getting me so let's suppose if I want to go back again so one step more as you can see that now we don't have uh, that uh, you can say uh, object anymore because definitely we said two times undo definitely it clear uh, two steps if I want to go back so what I do I will click on uh, redo and now it will give me the first step and then if I want one more step so what I do, I will click on redo and it will give me an one step, getting me. So if you talk about, uh, you can say, uh, you can say undo, so undo go back and definitely if you talk about redo, so redo come here, getting me. So definitely if you want to go back one step, one step more, one step more, so definitely you can use, what can you use, you can use uh, undo, control Z. And if you want to uh, come again, for example, if you want to come again one step, one step, one step more, one step more, so you can use redo, getting me. So undo go back and redo will come again then what do we have next so we have uh, you can say cut copy path so what basically cut is let's suppose if I have this object if I have this object and if I want to duplicate this object or if I want the copy so what do I need to do first I have to select this object then what I do I will go in edit and then I will click on copy okay first we, first we should learn copy so definitely we will click on copy and for example if I want the copy so definitely in order to get the result I will click on past as you can see that now we have uh, you can say copy one more time one more time or you can also use control control V <coughs> so as you can see that now we have one two three and four objects getting me so with the help of copy I can get the copy of my object what I need to do first I have to select uh, definitely object and then I will go in edit and then I will click on copy and wherever I want I will definitely I will click on pass, pass, pass and I will get the copy. So what is cut? So let's see the cut. First I will delete this all. Then I will go and I will take, uh, take an object. First I will select this object and then I will go in edit. And this time I will say cut. What say cut? So cut means that it will be removed from its uh, ordinal place. And if I say place or uh, past, uh, past and paste so it will give me the copy getting me and if we talk about copy so copy remains on its own place but if we talk about cut so cut uh, means if we say cut so it removes from its own place but definitely we can get the you can say uh, you can say the uh, uh, duplicate getting me by just click on pass then what basically copy per paste in front let's suppose if I have this object and let's suppose if I want the copy in the front of this object if I want the copy in front of this object so what I do first I will select this object then I will go in edit and I will click uh, first I will copy click copy and I, I will click on uh, past, uh, past in front so as you can see that now we have now we have the copy in front of our uh, you can say uh, object get me uh, then what do we have next we have pass in back means it will pass back at the back of this object a uh, paste in place definitely it can it will paste on the same place getting me here we have all the options okay okay paste on all artboard let's suppose if I zoom out a little bit so that you can see you can see that now right now I have three artboards on easy in easy word we can say I uh, right now I have three uh, you can say pages so let's suppose if I want the copy on all the artboard so what I do first I will uh, select my object then I will go in edit and I will click on copy and this time I will say paste on all artboards as you can see that now I have this object this artboard and 
uh, at this artboard as well getting me so page on all artboards means that it will come on all artboards or all pages getting me uh, then what do we have next we are clear let's suppose if I select this all and if I don't want if I don't want this object anymore so first I will select these objects then I will go in edit and then I will click on clear and as you can see that now we don't have uh, th uh, this object anymore there go. <coughs> Uh, then we have point in replace. Let's suppose if I have uh, definitely what is asking me. Okay, so let's suppose if I want to find. Let's suppose if I want to find any word. So definitely, uh, what I need to do first, I need to come in edit. Then I, then, then I have to click on find and replace. Find and replace, and then I have to tell what I do. What do I want to find? And definitely, we can also replace uh, definitely with. So in order to find anything, we we should have something. Right now we don't have anything. So what I do? Okay, and then I will take a type tool, and here I will say Navid, and uh, I will select this, and I will change the size so that I, I can see. And then I will first select this, or no need to select this. And uh, what I do? I will go and add it. And then I will click on file, find and replace and it's asking that what do you want to find? I say I want to find Navid. So if I click on find as you can see that you can see it, it is highlighting me that Navid is here getting me. So let's suppose if you want to find any word or anything. So with the help of find you can do. And let's suppose if you want to replace with let's suppose I, let's suppose I say the Navid. Okay where Navid is written okay place it with uh, uh, you can say play, replace with place. Or replace with uh, you can say place.com or you can say my love computer so here we have the option the option is place means uh, it will replace once and if we say replace all means wherever Navid is written so definitely it will be replaced so if we say replace all so the, as you can see then now in the place of uh, you can say Navid. Now we have my love, na my love computer. Getting me. So we can also replace it. Uh, then we have the check spelling. Let's suppose if you want to check your spelling, you can also check. Just you need to click on start, and definitely it will check your spelling. And uh, here we have the option called uh, add a custom dictionary. Let's suppose if you want to add your name, if you want to add your name. For example, if I talk about my my name, so definitely Navid name is not. Uh, an, an English word definitely so let's suppose if I want to add my name in dictionary so what I do uh, here I will type my name and then I will click on add and here as you can see they show me my name and if I want to delete my name I can also delete if I click uh, and if I select my name if I click on delete as you can see that now we don't have Navid anymore if I want to add I will click on add and definitely here we have name in uh, here here I have my name in my dictionary uh, edit color we can edit the color uh, we can change the definitely uh, transparency print preset we can also change the print preset uh, we can also do the preset for PDF or SW file perspective grid uh, perspective grid preset definitely as you know that this is the option or this is a tool perspective grid tool definitely we have learned this so let's suppose if you want to change the preset you can also do color setting if you want to do assign profile if you want to assign in profile you can also assign here uh, the most important is uh, you can say key, shortcut uh, sh uh, keyboard shortcut let's suppose if you want to know the shortcuts of all the tools so you don't need to go on that you don't need to find you notice new you, you don't need to search just you need to come in edit and here we have the option called keyboard shortcuts so here it will show you all the shortcuts so as you can see it's showing the shortcuts of selection tool every tool getting me and if you want to export this tag definitely you can also do and then what do we have next uh, we have my setting let's suppose if you want to save the the, the settings let's suppose whatever uh, you have done if whatever you have made the preset if you want to save this setting you can also do you can export and you can import let's suppose uh, uh, you are you are doing work and you also have you ha have illustrator in uh, in your home and at your home at your office as well and if you want the same uh, you can say setting let's suppose uh, if uh, if you have illustrator in your home and in your home and if you want the same settings uh, in your office computer so how can you get the same setting you need to just simply click on export and uh, here you have to tell that where, where do you want to export or where do you want to save this file and when you go to office so go in my settings and click on import and import the settings getting me so this is a way to export and import settings 
last we have preferences here we can change the preferences let's suppose if you want to change the color if you want to change the means everything you can do here for example if you want to change uh, the text color user interface let's suppose if you want to change the color let's suppose if it's a light as you can see that now we have this color but it's not looking good oh i don't like this color aha uh -huh. i don't like uh, but if you want the color like this you can also get the color like this uh, dark is nice okay so you can also ch you can do everything here. get him you can also change the guides definitely smart guide color you can also change here get him so in this lecture what have we learned we have learned uh, edit menu in adobe illustrator i hope you have understood for more videos lecture and exercises come to my website www.navithplace.com allah hafiz and i will meet you in the next video. till that allah hafiz